Hello YouTube, this is Carrie from Razor Sharp Crafts and I'm just going to bring you a quick video today um, about a, um, what is it, an organization, a project, um, um, about something that means a lot to me. Um, okay, stop saying um. So, those of you that follow me um, regularly know that I was active duty Air Force. I did four years and then I got out to stay with my children because my husband and I were both active duty and we were on back-to-back -back deployments. So he'd be gone for six months and I'd be gone for six months. So him and I wouldn't see each other for a year and our kids would go a whole year with only one parent in the house. And um, we didn't want that for them um, we or ourselves because that's one way that military marriages end is they grow apart because they don't see each other very often. Um, so my enlistment was coming up and I decided that I was going to get out and stay at home with the kids. That way our kids would always have one steady parent in the house at all times, not flip-flopping and all that stuff. And... So my husband is still active duty. I have recently, um, as of October of this year, have enlisted in the um, Air Force Guard. Or not Guard, sorry. The Air Force Reserves. and um, But I don't have to deploy and stuff like that with it. The only way I would is if, like, God forbid, a massive war or something broke out. Um, otherwise, I just do my time and that's it. So it's nice because I still get to be a part of something great and um, serve my country and all that good stuff. So anyways, the Red Cross um, has a program called Holiday Cards for Heroes. And some of you may have seen it circling around on Facebook. There's also one that gives a Walter Reed address. That address is not right. Um, excuse me. The one I can't even... Excuse me, sorry. Got the burpy hiccups here. I can't, right off the top of my head while I'm doing this video, think of what the actual real address is. But the one that says that the cards are going to Walter Reed is not a correct address. Please do not send cards to that address because they will be returned to you. So anyways, they do a program, Holiday Cards for Heroes. You mail them as many cards as you want. Like you can have a big old stack of cards, like huge stack of cards. And they don't have to be in envelopes. Or they, well, if you put them in an envelope, they're going to be taken out of the envelopes before being delivered. So save your envelopes. There's no point in sending envelopes because they're just gonna be thrown away before delivery. So, you can, if you have a big old stack of cards, leftover holiday cards from years ago, um, extra cards that you've made, they do not have to be homemade, they can be store bought, whatever. But take and get a stack of them, and, or even just a couple, or even just one. You can just send one if you want to. And you mail them to, this, to the address. I'm going to put the address in the description box below, as well as the link to the Red Cross so you can read more about the program. So you mail them to this address and then volunteers for the Red Cross distribute them out to military members all over the world. Like there can be some that in the States at their home stations that might get them. There can be some in Afghanistan that might get them or Anywhere our troops are stationed, there could be there could be fellow people here in Germany that might get a card that I make. That would be cool. They're they're not just given to like people that are deployed. They're given to everyone military. It's it's like a way to show your appreciation for the military by saying here we're thinking of you at the holidays. Um, it's a really nice thing to do. I think, anyways, a nice way to support the military and just show them that 
people think about them. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to have, like I say, I'm going to have the address and the link to the Red Cross down below. There are some rules and regulations for the cards. Um, and the link that I'm posting below will give you the regulations to make sure that your cards are delivered. If your cards don't follow the regulations, they won't be delivered. Um, I do not know if they'll just return them to you or if they'll just be trashed. But as long as you follow the regulations, you won't have any problem. Um, another um, thing is... Uh, it's a misconception to think that the cards are only given to wounded military. Yes, they will give them to wounded military that are in different um, either VA hospitals or military hospitals across the world. But other people get them um, and not just deployed. It's just, it's everywhere. They just distribute them out um, as much as they possibly they can. Like last year, we got one. It was really cute. You could tell it was made by a little kid. They drew a picture and they said, um, and they just said Merry Christmas because you can't write, um, you can't write little notes in them. But I think it, I, I think it may have said like, we support you, Merry Christmas or something like that. But that was considered their little sentiment in the middle of the card. So, but it was really cute. And they drew a flag on the front and yeah. So, and it was so sweet to get it. Like, it was just, it was awesome. It was just put in our mailbox. It was such a nice surprise. It just, it warms your heart. So, um, follow the rules and regulations so that your card will be delivered. Um, they, you have to have your cards mailed to the Red Cross by December 6th. Um, that means Red Cross needs to have them there so that they can get them distributed out in time for the heroes to get for the military heroes to get for Christmas. Now, they don't say in there that if they're received after December 6th that they won't be delivered, but they say to try to ensure that your cards will be delivered, have them to them by November 6th. Or, sorry, December 6th. December 6th. And that is also on the, um, it's uh, in the link, the deadline. So, um, a couple of my friends had asked me to show a somewhat simple card because that I, I don't know I guess I'd use the word simple when I was talking to them about helping me with this but it doesn't have to be simple you can make a really extravagant card if you want um, the, the biggest thing that they request is that you don't use glitter because um, glitter can flake off and if it's sent to a hero in a hospital who may have breathing issues if glitter flakes off and gets into the respiratory system or something, it could cause problems. So I think that's that's one of the biggest things that they ask is just don't have glitter. Now I use stickles on my card, so I don't know if I'll be able to send this one, but if not, I'll just keep it for friends or family. And I'm going to say before I even show this card, this card is no in no way, shape, or form my design. Um, my friend Jane did a tutorial about a month or so ago on how to make this card and I fell right in love with it Jane at Velocity Vet 08 I fell right in love with it so I decided I was going to recreate her card um, the only thing I didn't do is I didn't she has holly on hers down here at the bottom I'm going to put something I just don't know what yet I might put holly or I might just put some um, some pine needles or something I haven't decided yet but let me say again, this card was designed by Jane at Velocity Vet 08, not by me. I recreated it following her tutorial. Let me get this out of the way. Um, I ordered the, the window die that she used in it, and then I ordered this stamp. Mm, hold on. This stamp is, okay, so the die I ordered, it is the small Madison window, and it looks like that, and I guess it's by Memory Box, 
but I ordered it from Poppy Stamps. So that's the die. And then the stamp that I used is Poppy Stamps. And it is Dear Silhouette. And it's a Poppy Cling stamp. And it looks like that. So that was the stamp and the die. And then the, um, if you can tell, I embossed this white layer. In Jane's video, she uses, um, I believe it was a Holly uh, embossing folder. I don't have that, but I already had, um, it's Snowflakes. And it is Provo Craft, and it's just called Snowflakes. So I already had this one here at home, so I didn't order an embossing folder, but so I used it. And then all of the paper I used is um, Paper Tray Ink because I absolutely love their paper. I think I'm going to have to put some score tape under this because it doesn't want to stay down with just the ATG gun tape. So this is the card that I created. And it is it is very flat. Um, the cards don't have to be flat. They can be bulky if you want them to be. And then I'm just going to stamp a sentiment inside. And um, I believe you can address them to like military hero or dear service member or something. And then you're allowed to sign your name. So... See, and this took me, like, I don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe 10, 15 minutes to make last night, if that. Um, so, yeah, this is a really simple card. So, I'm going to make, see, I put stickles, like, because Jane shows putting stickles in the image behind the window. I put stickles on there, but I'm worried that it wouldn't be delivered because they do seem like they can flake off. So, I think when I make the ones for... The holiday mail for heroes I am I'm just gonna leave the stickles off I'll just do the background image so and I did have to off center the stamp um, in here because as you can see the deer is supposed to be in the center but if I put it that way the deer would have been completely blocked by the window panes or the wood between the window panes. So that's what I created and like I say I'm just going to stamp some like a Merry Christmas on the inside and then I'll just um, address it and sign it and so I'm going to make a few of them um, but I will do a video it's probably going to be a lot closer to the mail date. Sorry I thought I heard my kit my son awake. <laughs> It'll probably be a lot closer to the mail date, the mail-in date, because um, um, because I'm going to put off making mine for a little bit. I have a craft fair that I'm working on that's the 23rd, and so I need to get back working on that. But I wanted to do a video to share this information with y'all, so anybody that wants to help out and send um, cards in, I wanted them to know about it because maybe a lot of people just don't know about the program. So I'll do a video closer to the mail date of all my cards so you can see what I did, but I wanted to get the information out there. So please check out the link below. It's a great, 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 great cause. So if you have time, please make a card or even go to a store and buy a card and, sell, and send it in. So thank you all very much for watching. And Jane, thank you for the tutorial on this card. I absolutely love it. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.